here we are, first day of sheep hunting. Just got daylight already. We got some sheep spotted. That's probably the biggest ram there that we can see. Even he's got to break the bridge of the nose, and as you can see, he doesn't. There's a pile of sheep there. So it's starting out good. The rams are chasing the ewes, which is a good sign. Means we're going to see a bunch of sheep on this trip. I'm hoping. There's, I don't know how many there. It's got to be like 15 or so. Okay, here we are. It's uh, the 18th, 19th today, right? 19th, yeah. And we're looking for sheep. And as you can see on the video, we've already seen about 18 of them. Yeah. Nothing legal though. There's about 18 sheep, I think. Four or five rams, and rams are heavily chasing uh, the ewes around, so that's a great sign. So we should have a. We'll see more sheep, guaranteed. What do you think? Yeah, it's nice to get finally back out after the summer hunt, and uh, go after some bighorns now. We only have two days, so we're spending the night up here tonight. So yeah. it's cool out there. It's only zero degrees right now, so up top it'll be even colder. So yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. So stay tuned for more action, right? You betcha. Yeah, here we are, Rob and I. We're just leaving the truck, and we're gonna hike. We're gonna hike up there, over there, and then way down that ridge. I should say this ridge in front of us, so, and see what's down inside the other draws that we can't see from up here. So. That is the plan. So we'll talk to you on the way. Ready? You betcha. Okay, here we are. We hiked up a bit. Rob thinks he might have spotted something. Way, way, way down there. So we can have a look. But this, we can actually get up onto that ridge. Just follow this ridge and go all the way around if we want. So I'm not sure what to do here. We need to head down on the spine and glass where we can't see because I'm thinking that if we go up here we'll be able to see in there and we can glass everything so that's what we're going to do the weather's amazing it's hardly any wind um, very mild I think it's zero degrees it feels good to hike again doesn't it? on the couch and drinking beer for the last three months. <laughs> I don't drink beer. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a beer. So we're just gonna do some glasses real good and then slowly work our way up. I think that's the plan. And if we don't see anything then we'll head into that other spot the other on Friday where we seen a whole pile of sheep probably seen 30 sheep or more but uh Got to give this a good go. There's lots of sign here, so we just got to find them. Okay, you're right down in there. Just on the left side of those two big dead snags, there's a couple sheep. Looks like a lamb and a ewe, but we can't tell from here, so we're going to head down a little lower onto the next knob, and hopefully we can see right in that drainage. Maybe there's more sheep. Chances are this time of year there will be so. Man, I tell you, I couldn't ask for a nicer day. It is beautiful. There's hardly any wind. It's warm. Just enough to keep the bugs away. And as a country is just stunning. It's amazing. Easy walking. So yeah, so we're gonna head down there and then glass everything really good once again. Hopefully we can get to a good vantage point better than this. And then uh, find some rams. Alrighty, so it is 10 to 1. We're gonna pack up and head back to the truck and try a different area. Um, those two sheep are on the edge of that tree, I believe, bedded down down there. So just a you and a lamb, we glassed all that country down there and we saw nothing. 
we did find some other hunter's tracks that were quite fresh, so I think someone's been here to check this area out already, so we are going to head back up here quite a ways and then back to the truck. It might take us about an hour. Yeah, right? About an hour, yeah. Right, here we are, hiking out of here. We're going to go to the top of there and then back probably a mile or so. The fire came through here this year too, a second time. It already burnt once. So yeah, so we head up there and then back to the truck and try another area for tonight. Have a bite to eat and set up a camp for the night. That's the plan. Okay, all the steep stuff's over with. Now we just walk this burnt up bridge that way back down to the truck and then uh, probably have some lunch there and then go check out a new area hopefully one with more sheep yes I have a feeling legal ones well that's another issue just to find a legal ram in this area it has to be exceptional exceptionally big and the rams in this area, well, all big horns actually, Rocky Mountain big horns, like to break the horns off, you all know that. They like to broom off. And the sheep in this area, actually, it's not the corner of the eye to the nostril, it is full past the bridge of the nose, so it's got to be full, full curl. So, and it almost seems like they know that. <laughs> yeah. They, they break it off just, just below the nose. So, a lot of the younger rams, like a even a three-year-old ram might be full curl and not broomed off yet. It's a legal ram, but it's not a mature ram. But uh, if you do find one that's broomed off past the bridge of the nose, it's going to be a monster. A buddy of mine got one. It was a real nice one. And it was four and a half years old only. And he was broomed off way past the nose. It was a big ram, mature, but only four and a half years. So they have huge horn growth in this area, it grows fast. So I got a couple more areas we can check out here. And uh, we're here for the night. Okay, here we are, it's a little after four o'clock. We're just doing some glassing here. See that fire came right up here. Look at that big chunk of that mountain that was all fractured. See it in here, so we are gonna head. How burnt it is, and it's real slippery too under those pine needles. I slipped and fell right on my ass. And, oh, yeah, I'm all black there. But anyways, so we are gonna head out of here. We're gonna go set up camp. I think we got a little over two hours of daylight left. We're gonna find a place to camp, set up camp, and then we're gonna go down further to where we seen some rams the other day. Do some glass in there, maybe see something, and then uh, the next day, tomorrow morning, we'll uh, gonna head up over the ridge over there and see what we see. Um, tomorrow's the last day, so wish us luck. We'll see sheep over there, I'm sure, but. Uh, Probably not the right one, but we're gonna try. Okay, so we got tent set up. It is 4.40, so we got uh, probably less than two hours of light left, so we're only about a uh, half mile from where I've seen all the sheep last time and the deer, so we're gonna get our stuff ready here, and we're gonna hike, walk down the road to that spot. And hopefully we'll see some sheep and maybe some deer. This will be our, our place to sleep tonight. Bob's getting the lantern ready. Yeah. Our bare minimum stuff. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, got some wood. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. Here we are evening hunt. 
came in here last Friday and there were sheep everywhere. And deer everywhere. And now we don't see anything. Don't have much daylight left. Otherwise we'd head down over there. But we got here too late. So I'm gonna sit here in glass until last light and then a half mile up the road here is our camp. So we're at last light here. We have a full moon coming up there. It's starting to chill a little bit. Getting, getting cool. So we're gonna pack up here and head back to camp. Have some dinner, maybe a, a fire. And uh, hit her again first thing in the morning. Tomorrow's the last day of sheep season, so we don't do it tomorrow. Not gonna happen. <laughs> but uh, I think it's almost like finding a needle in a haystack anyways, but you never know unless you try. Here are Rob's spinning wood, also known as tree knocking, he's calling it Sasquatch. <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep this warm, right? Yeah, it's dark, eh? It's so here an answer, we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Well, good morning everyone. It's a little after seven. Uh, still kind of dark, which is good. So we're just gonna get our gear together, head out. And uh, you can't see anything. We'll cook our breakfast while we're glassing. So that's the plan. Well, good morning. We're hiking on this little skid trail, whatever you want to call it. And glassing all that over there. You know, <laughs> Friday there were sheep all over the place over there, like 30 of them in a couple decent rounds, but not legal. And now there's nothing, so I'll show you some of that footage now from Friday. Trees can mess away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> better look. That one wants no part, eh? No. Yeah, he's broomed off more on this end. It's definitely a mature ram for sure. Just they like to broom their horns off. I think he's lay down right beside that one. Yeah, he's digging in he. Yeah. Oh, other one's getting up. I see him headbutt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> big one lays down. There. Still warm there. Yeah. What does that one look like now? Hard to tell with binoculars, eh? It is, yeah. There you go. Well, we must have seen over 20 sheep over there, eh? Oh, there at least, yeah. And deer. And how many deer? Yeah, I think, I think that, that's a beautiful picture. Look at them. The ram now. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's coming back this way. Yep. They're standing, aren't they? I see two standing side by side, looking towards the where those other ones went. Oh yeah, behind them. I think there's one laying on the hill back behind them, about 50 feet. Too. Looks like a white ram there. See, this guy wants to get frisky with that other one. Yeah. Oh, he is too. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's in. We stay on the south side and stay away from the north side. Yeah. <laughs> to see, that's for sure. Like, I mean, where would another ram hang out? Yeah. In the trees up higher or what? That's probably one of the toughest. You know, just because he's got something with a little longer horns doesn't mean he's, you know, a heavy horned one like that would probably 
breeding one. Yeah, exactly. Which is not for another two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Oh, that little one laid right above it now. Oh, yeah. Three feet from it. But look another way. They're getting along pretty good. Yeah. They must not be thinking about anything yet, eh? Well, they, they, they do bang heads this time of year. Oh, they they bang heads in August. All the time, yeah. yeah. Just to, I think that one knows the other one's bigger than him. Okay, he's way bigger. Yeah. Yeah, those rabbits are just going to hang there for a while, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they're not worried about anything. The thing is, on the other side, there could be a bigger ram just laying there that we don't know about. Well, easily, because we know there's a dozen at least used just one over that hill. Exactly, and there's still probably close to ten used with those two rams. We walk down that road way out to the point there and see if we can see back. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. And maybe we can see down. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see in the back behind it, that. Yeah, exactly. Road.